In this video, we're going to write the balanced net ionic equation for H2O2 plus KMnO4. This is going to be in sulfuric acid, so this will be an acetic medium. I have the balanced molecular equation up here. If you need help balancing this, it's probably best to balance this as a redox reaction. You might be able to do it by inspection, but that might be difficult. So there's a link in the description with the steps for how to balance this equation as a redox reaction. So we have our balanced equation. Now we're going to write the states for each substance. I'm only going to write the liquids here. We have this liquid, water is a liquid, and then oxygen is a gas. Everything else is soluble. Potassium compounds are soluble. Sulfuric acid, strong acid, very soluble. And then our sulfates here, they're soluble as well. So these are all strong electrolytes. Once we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That's going to give us our complete ionic equation. So we don't split up the liquids or the gases in net ionic equation. So we're just going to write 5H2O2. I won't write the states now. We'll write that later. Plus we have potassium. That's in group one. That'll be one plus. And the whole permanganate ion is one minus. So I have two potassium ions. And then I have two of these permanganate ions. Plus hydrogen group one and then sulfate, that's going to be 2 minus, the whole thing. Good one to know. So 2 times 3, that gives us 6 hydrogen ions. And then we have 3 of these sulfate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said the whole sulfate is 2 minus, so the manganese ion has to be 2 plus. So we have 2 of the manganese ions, manganese 2 ions, we should call them, plus two sulfates, and then potassium group one, that'll be one plus two minus here. We have two of them. So two K plus plus the sulfate ion, SO4, two minus, and then we don't split the oxygen apart. That's a gas, 5O2 plus eight H2O. We don't split the water apart either in net ionic equations. So we've got a lot going on here. Now, though, we can cross the spectator ions out. They're on both sides. So we can cross everything that's the same on both sides. I can see right here I have this two potassium ions in the reactants, also in the products. Those are spectator ions. I can see I have three sulfates here, and then I have two here. But I have this other one here. So I have a total of three sulfate ions. So I have these three and this one and two. So we can get rid of all of that. Once we've done that, everything else is unique. So this is going to be our net ionic equation for H2O2 plus KMnO4 in this acetic medium here. I'm going to clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for hydrogen peroxide plus potassium permanganate in this acetic medium. We can check two things. Let's first see if the charge is balanced. So I have 2 times the 1 minus. That's 2 minus. 6 times the 1 plus. So 6 plus and 2 minus. This whole side has a charge of 4 plus. Over here, 2 times 2 plus, that's 4 plus. So we have 4 plus on both sides. So charge is conserved. So that tells us that we're probably doing pretty well. We could also count all the atoms up and see if they were balanced. They are in this case. So that's the other check. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for H2O2 plus KMnO4 plus H2SO4. Again, if you need to balance this molecular equation, I recommend treating it as a redox reaction. And there's a link in the description that shows you step by step how to do that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.